It's Ben Murphy for Box Nation. I'm here with a very sweaty Don Charles. Very sweaty indeed. Derek's in looking real tremendous shape for this one. What, what, what's been done different on this camp? Can you hear him? He's telling me to put my gut away. <laughs> All right, show off. Don't worry, I need your nutritionist, yeah? It's, it's those new abdominal <laughs> muscles. He's getting a bit cocky. And he's not with that soul, soul mate food, you know? Yeah, I need to get myself some soul mate food because it's not fair. They're doing it to my fighter. You've got to look after the trainer, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, I just got myself sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what's gone different on this camp? Why is he in such better shape this time around? Well, we finally, acceptance is a way of cure. He's finally, as an individual, as a person, accepted that he has a problem, a weight problem. Yeah? So he's personally addressing it. Yeah? You know, you start to question yourself. Everybody makes a big thing about Derek's weight, including myself, including the team, because we're scratching our heads saying, hang on a second, this kid trains harder than anyone we know. It, certainly harder than anyone I've trained uh, in terms of the work he puts in in training. But how comes he comes in overweight? Yeah. So the fighter has finally addressed his weight issues. Yeah, because he was cheating. That's why with food, that is. Okay. He's finally addressed it, and hence why you're seeing the difference in him. Do you think we're going to see that in his performance? Do you think we're going to be a lot fleeter footed? And do you think he's just going to really put it on Malik Scott this time for the whole 12 rounds? He's always had a tremendous work rate, Absolutely, but obviously... Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it because, you know, don't forget, throughout his career, that professional career, I've been with him as a trainer. And um, to see him finally address his weight issues, I'm excited. So if Derek Chisora, who's coming in, let's say, out of, with uh, too much weight, so it's only going to make him faster and, and more explosive. What do you think... What have you seen of Malik Scott so far? Obviously, I mean... It, it, the big thing about Malik Scott is he's light on his feet and he's not a conventional heavyweight in that sense. What, what, what do you think he'll bring this? Do you think he's going to try and stand off Derek and run away from him in the ring? Or do you think he's actually going to sort of stand in there and have a tear up and play Derek, Derek's game and play into your hands? Right. Look, we, we concentrate more on what we're doing than what they're actually going to do. We know what he has done in the past in 36 fights. Whatever he chooses to do, we've made provisions for it. If he if he boxes how he usually boxes, it's going to be a nightmare for him. If he chooses to then suddenly become a fighter, which he's not, right? He's a boxer, a very good boxer. But if he chooses to be a fighter suddenly, then I think he's really going to play into our, our hand even more. Do, do you think the fact that Derek's mixed it at a bit of a higher level than Malik is mm. going to make a bit of a difference? Obviously, Derek's been in with with the best names, yeah. Uh, and Malik, as Derek put it quite. Um, Finally, and he's in the uh, conference call they did. He's been with a, in with a few cab drivers. Yeah. Do you think that he's going to get a bit of a surprise fighting at world level uh, against Derek? I'm afraid so. There's a lot of, uh, like I said, the fight is not always about in the ring. Leading up to the fight, he hasn't been to this level, yeah? Hence why he's seen some of his behaviour so far. He's a good man. I'm not, not ridiculing this guy by any means. I'm just, I mean, obviously, yeah. I mean, he's, just, he's, he's sort of dropped out just, of a few media yeah. appearances. Do you think that's, that's all to reflective do. Of, yeah, of, of that sort of damn, his, this his is comfort? Real. This is reality, yeah, it hasn't met, it's a daunting affair. If I didn't know Derek, I'd be like dreading meeting Derek for the first time, yeah? Because that's the, what he has portrayed, how, how he is, unpredictable. So I understand all, all the, like, don't wanna, the very least he could meet Derek in the sense that the more, the less he meets Derek prior to the fight for them, the better for them, but that's not gonna happen because he has to meet his obligations, um, mm. promotional and contractual obligations. So he has to turn up and face Derek.